People are much drier today compared to not just yesterday, but the past several days. We're finally starting to see some drier air mix in, and that will continue to limit our rain chance today and really through the remainder of the work week. We notice we just have a little bit of blue on our next weather radar network here, a little bit of light shower activity that's been darting across northern portions of Broward County, but elsewhere we're pretty dry. We're noticing that drier air and feeling it also being brought in by the breeze. There is that front that has been stalled to the north of us for the past several days, finally pushed through allowing for some of that drier air to move in. We have seen the winds pick up at times. Currently sustained winds running between about 15 to 20 miles per hour with some gusts of up to an over 20 miles per hour at times. So not much rain today, but what you will notice in the sky is the haze. As we take a look across the Casilla Center out across Miami, check out how hazy it looks. That's actually thanks to some smoke that's funneling in all the way from wildfires from Quebec, Canada. We're talking about about 1700 miles away is where this wildfire smoke originates and it's showing up here across the state of Florida leading to this hazier sky 87 degrees as dew points a little bit lower a little bit more comfortable feeling out there but the haze not only is it lowering our air quality unhealthy for some areas especially up through Broward County so be mindful if you have heart or lung disease today but it's also limiting our visibility we're reporting visibility of only six miles currently in Fort Lauderdale seven miles in Miami and again that sinks to that smoke that's being pulled in from the northeast that front continues to push south it's going to bring bring us still some drier air, but enough moisture at the surface to allow for maybe a few spotty showers today and really through tomorrow through Friday. We'll keep with just those lower rain chances. It does look like we may see this pick up a little bit as we head towards the weekend, specifically for Sunday and into Monday of next week. Notice that those rain chances much lower than they have been. Not a lot of rain, so finally we're allowing to dry things out. Very needed drier weather here across South Florida in the meantime. For the rest of today, a couple quick moving showers will be possible. We'll continue with the hazy sky as we head into at least early this evening, but I am anticipating that to start to clear out as we head into tonight. Improvements certainly for tomorrow. We're going to do the same thing over again. A few spotty showers will be a possibility, but many of us dry yet again for your Wednesday. We still have those coastal flood advisories in effect for coastal areas through 4 p.m. today, so watch out for some saltwater flooding. Our high tide actually has just passed in some areas, 1238, uh, rather for Fort Lauderdale, so it's coming up there. Miami, 1223 right around now Key Largo 1215 which will have another high tide as we head into late tonight around midnight for most areas and then we should start to see some improvements as that king tide begins to subside beginning tomorrow across the tropics we have tropical storm Philippe bringing some rain to portions of the northern leeward islands this will be lifting northward could actually be bringing some impacts to Bermuda as we head towards the end of this work week and Nova Scotia will have to be watching this closely as it could be impacting them as a post tropical system down the road but will not be a threat to Florida next seven days locally featuring those lowering rain chances. Looks like they pick up a little bit by early next week. Highs in the upper 80s and lower 90s for the next several days.